Hey guys, welcome back to Epic Gaming 101. Today I'm reviewing a game on the Xbox One. Just like usual. Ah ha ha ha. And this game is indeed known as... The game is known as Dying Light. You may have heard of it. Although not that many people know of it. And they really should because it's amazing. It's basically a uh, zombies are here, and and uh, you put on a suit, and then you got knocked unconscious, and then they like rip you out of the suit, and then you go into a place called the tower, and it's a zombie survival and parkour game. And I don't know how, but if you jump off of the tallest building in the game. If you land on top of a car, on top of a zombie, or in the pile of trash, then you don't die. Like, because this makes sense. I'm just gonna jump off of the roof of my house and land in a pile of trash. Filled with metal. Or jump on a metal car. Or jump on a person. Do not actually do that. That is dangerous, boy. <laughs> But this game is amazing. Well, so there are perks in this game. For example, I don't remember if this is in Survivor or the power or the agility one. So just bear with me, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> Basically. You can drop kick enemies, one of them, and it makes it and it makes you crazy OP because you can just go like, "Hey, I'm running forward. I'm just gonna jump and then I'm gonna drop kick inside of another zomb inside of a zombie, and then it's gonna make you go flying into another zombie that flies into another zombie, but they don't instantly die. And also, if you want to waste time for no apparent reason. Then I like to not even, like, use my weapons because I can hardly find metal parts so I can never repair stuff. So I just got my friend who's beat the game five different times that has given me 47 metal parts. I know that that's cheating. And it really is because he also gave me, like, 50 OP weapons. And by 50, I mean, like, three. He gave me the exquisite short knife. And you like run five times faster with it, and I just like to like drop kick the enemies and then swing at them two times with that weapon. And it basically just looks like this. Uh, I'm not even in the camera, hang on. Get out of your chair for a second. Thank you. Okay, so the zombie is right here, and I'm right here, and then I'm all just like. <clears throat> Imagine that that was a drop kick, and I just went like, Ooh. You know what I mean? Like, I jump into the air, and then I lunge my feet forward, and then the zombie is on the ground, so I take out my exquisite short knife, and then I just go like, swing, swing, and then it's dead. And then I get to search it. <laughs> and then I get... Nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars for murdering a single zombie. Most of the time they only give you nine. <laughs> oh yeah. So there is a mission called Airdrop. Uh, my friend said that the mission is terrifying if you're playing by yourself because uh I'm not gonna say why. But if you want to know, then listen to what I'm about to say. A new type of zombie gets introduced, and it runs like five times faster than you. And it does like a ton of damage, so you gotta go like... And they're like practically impossible to kill. So you just gotta like run as fast as you can. It's like... And also, earlier in that mission, whenever you make it to the first airdrop... 
invite the guys that are there. Because whenever you kill them, you can still open up the crate. And then you can take all of the stuff. Like, you can take DIY, hand grenades, ammo, stuff like that. Uh, um, but my favorite weapon in the game has to be the cleaver that my friend, wait, no. So, there's a type of common machete. I don't know how you unlock the blueprint for it. Well, when my friend gave it to me, it legit has infinite durability. You could, like, constantly slap a zombie. And then it'll show its durability going down, and they're like, ready, ready, ready. But then whenever it runs out, nothing happens. It's still the exact same. It deals the exact same amount of damage, which is like 5,000, and the zombies at the beginning only, only have like 100 health. But yeah, and also, if you just want to waste time, if you spam lift lumber, then you can just kick every single zombie that you see. Is it like, er, 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 And also, right bumper is jump. And then if you hold down A, then, like, you can see, um, missions nearby, I think? Yeah, missions ne nearby, and there are safe zones. You gotta run in there, and then you gotta take them over by killing all the zombies and then closing a gate. Not even joking, that's actually all you have to do. Anyway, I think this is it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. This is Owen from Epic Gaming 101, signing off. Goodbye!